Now, I don't like to do update videos because I, I really do try to cover everything in the video review. I've only had to do this a couple times since I've been reviewing, but this is kind of important in the, uh, in the accessories and the features. Because if you remember, I showed how you can take the, um, the grenade launcher and hook it into the bottom of the beam rifle so they can be together. But you can actually take the new bazooka and it can also be pegged onto the top and then sandwiched together. And all of a sudden you've got a really cool looking beam bazooka. I don't know. Which is, I'm, this is, I'm pretty sure what he did at the end of episode, was it episode 5, I think? And also the beginning of episode 6. And as I totally screwed that up and flipped, no, I'm pretty sure it was 5 and 6. It's really nice. Now, it is heavy because of the added weight, and I did notice Bazooka is a lighter shade, a, a little bit lighter gray than the uh, beam rifle. And... Like I said, I have had other people might not have this problem, but I have been having problems getting him to hold his beam rifle. And so that the weight of the bazooka is going to make it harder. But I'm sure you can get it to work. Oh, it, it did peg in for a second. For a second. So I just wanted to show that off because it is really nice. And I just want to make sure people knew about that. So I'm pretty sure that's it. And I think I had the uh, leg covers, the thrusters, on backwards before, because this part here is supposed to show the uh, vents. But anyways, I think that's the only thing I've left out, but I just want to make sure people knew about it, because it is actually really nice, and it does... It does look pretty good. So, I'm not going to display it like this. I'm going to have it in the shield, but, you know, in case you want to. So that's about it, and I'll see you at the next review.